Hi, my name is Nell Kuntu Mulawasi. Thank you so much for watching my videos and coming to my blogs and following me on Facebook. I really appreciate you. I appreciate uh, the fact that you get blessed by what I do. Today's blog, this week's blog in fact, is titled Always a Lady. It's been on my heart for a while to talk about what it means to be a lady and, you know, to just be, to be proper. I know that's a British term, but just, yeah, to be proper. I know that there are a lot of misconceptions about what it means to be a lady. For example, a lot of people think that ladies that wear makeup are a bit shallow, you know, they, they, they're too obsessed, they don't care about anything but their hair, makeup and, and shoes and fashion, as if that's such a bad thing. I don't think it is a bad thing. I think that we just have um, a wrong view of, 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 of makeup and hair and fashion. And I don't think it should be like that. And as a woman, it shouldn't make you feel bad for wanting to, to indulge a little bit. Or a better, a better word is invest a little in better clothes and better shoes and better makeup, you know. I just think that it's important for us to find a balance between having substance and looking pretty, you know. Being physically attractive. I think it's something that we can change. It's something that God has given us the power to, to, to control to a certain extent. So that's it. I really wanted to just focus on the fact that the um, our bodies are a temple of God, and we must take care of them. We must their representation of what we have inside. So you can you can talk about being good and having substance. But what are you doing about your outside? Is it overflowing? Is it showing? You know, it must show. It must show. Wholeness is not just about being whole inside and having that great relationship with God and being um, a success and being well. But you must t take care of yourself. Be a lady. It pays. I promise you. Today, I'm just going to give you four tips. Four tips. Yes, four tips about how to be a lady, simple ways, simple and affordable ways to be a lady. I know the other misconception that is there is that um, it's expensive. Good hair costs money, nice clothes cost money, um, good makeup costs money, but I don't think that's the case. And it may be, but you can do something about it. So I'm just going to give you four tips on how to, to be pretty, but pretty on a budget. So. Um, the first one is do your own hair. Like hair is important. It's like the crown of a woman. So do your own hair. Find the products that you need in order to do your own hair from home. I'll give you an example. I do my own hair. I, for example, this hair that I have on, I colored it myself. I went to the salon. I asked them how much it would cost me, and they gave me an exorbitant price. So I said, no, 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 no. I will do this myself. I went to look for the product I needed to color this hair. It was black. I colored it blonde. I did it in my room. I just didn't want to spend four times the amount of money I spent buying the product going to the salon. So um, I decided to do my own hair. All I did was go to the salon and I paid like 10% of what they were going to charge me to, to have my hair done. That's how you keep your costs down. So find the products that you need to do your hair like hair benders, straighteners, um, rollers, a, a blower, you know, and shampoo and condition. Wash your hair from home. Just use our uh, homemade remedies, you know. Get olive oil, condition your hair, get avocado, and just mix it up. Find a way. Be creative. Read, research. Ask people who know. Ask people who have done it. It will save you a ton of money. Knowledge is power. So get knowledge on how to do your hair from home and what remedies you can use homemade ones that are cheap and affordable. And the second one is wear makeup. Makeup is, I know, okay, this is such a big deal because I know a lot of people, when you see a lady wearing makeup, you just think she doesn't have anything to do, she's not busy, she probably doesn't have a job, you know? But I recently started working and every day that I'm going for work, I spend at least just 10, 10, 15 minutes just doing my hair, but probably 10 because I love sleep, I respect rest, it's important for me to be well rested before I go and tackle my responsibilities at work. <clears throat> so, 
I just spend very few minutes in the morning to putting a bit of lipstick, some mascara, some color, some, you know, some liner here and there, a little bit of blush, and off I go. And that includes doing my hair too. So, I don't think that you have to spend an hour in the mirror just doing your, your makeup. That's unrealistic, you know. So, I'm encouraging you. I think makeup is not for everyone and those that don't want to, that's fine. But I would encourage you to just put a little on. I promise you it makes a difference. Just put a little. And the 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 the, 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 the thing we have to I mean the thing we have to deal with, the issue we have to deal with is that we have to find balance. You can't be obsessed about doing your makeup, spending hours and hours in the mirror when you could be doing something else, reading a book, learning a skill. But you should be able to have enough time to just care about your face. Take wash your face, take care of it. So that when you do put even just a bit of makeup, it makes a difference. And it will help your skin as well. The, sec the third one is find bargains. So go into a shop. Ask them if they have discounts or sales or when they're going to reduce the prices on their stock. Find out. Ask them. Because sometimes people have promotions like on Valentine's Day or Easter or Christmas. You know, those are peak periods for sales. And you could just find out so that you, get, you can budget for your money and... Find a way to spend a reasonable amount but still get good quality clothes. I love shopping. I am I have to confess I really do love clothes and shopping and fashion. But I'm realistic. I don't want to spend too much money buying clothes. I don't want to spend too much money buying shoes and makeup and hair. I want to spend a reasonable amount of money on these things but have quality things. So I look for bargains, I look for sales, I look for discounts. I find a way to make sure that I, I get the best but I don't spend too much. So invest in that. Find time, go into shop, ask and go online, check online shops. You are young, you are capable, go into the bank, ask them if your card can purchase things online. If not, go to a bank that does. You know, find the time, invest in yourself. That's three. So the fourth one is try high heels. I know that high heels are not for everyone and that's fine. But um, I think it's important for you to just even just a little help. Just just a little help. It will make a difference. That sometimes I'm having a really low day and I'll just dress up. Like my friend will tell me, oh, let's go for lunch or let's go for dinner. You know, I'll just dress up and put just a small heel and it will make such a difference just like that it would be like my whole the load has been lifted somehow i feel confident i feel happy there's just something about heels i think scientists should find like a hormone that is released from your heels when you wear high heels so i'll encourage you just a small heel and if you can't walk in heels it's okay start small and work your way up the more you wear them the better you get at walking in them because uh, chicken walk mm -mm, that's not attractive so always be a lady, wear makeup, do your hair, go to the salon if you can afford to, find bargains, wear nice clothes, wash your clothes, wear clean clothes. They don't always have to be new, but clean. And um, always wear high heels. Thank you so much for watching.